what's going on guys mario here welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel do me a favor go down below hit that subscribe button and leave a like it will help me out a lot this is part two of a two-part video last thing you guys probably seen was us trying to get the lexus ready for some new coilovers but we ran into some difficulties well today we got all the parts that we need to move forward and um we'll take you guys for the journey so let's get it all right so this is a stock suspension stock springs stock struts or you guys will call it shocks well down here is where we have the problem Let's see if i can zoom you guys in real quick there we go so that bolt right there is not coming off because of all the rust that is on it so it's seized up so we got to burn that bolt off and also this one up top right here so once we take those off then we'll be able to drop this whole suspension assembly and we could get started and put the new coilovers in so catch you guys in a little bit This is a comparison of how much the car is going to be low. Yeah, that's quite a big drop. <laughs> See the bike in the background? Yep, summer is right around the corner, so we get all the toys right, you know? And we also got the supercharged VW over here. Stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So I finally got one coil over in, but I'm going to walk you guys through what I actually did. I watched a lot of videos online and they were telling me that you got to pull a bunch of stuff apart, but I'm going to save you guys some trouble right now. Literally, all you have to do is unbolt the control arm. Let me show you guys real quick. So all I did was loosen the control arm right there loosen that bolt it's a long bolt that come all the way out so the only thing you have to do really is take this under guard off take the bolt out and this whole thing should drop forward and once it drops forward you'll be able to take the the strut out um i see a lot of people disconnect the tie rod ends and the control arm the lower control arm and the sway bar link you really don't have to do that literally all you have to do take the fender liner off the under guard take the bolt out and everything should fall right down and then as you can see there's one bolt at the bottom for the coilover and there's three bolts up top all right so i'm gonna attempt to do the other side and if there's any complications i'll let you guys know but that's pretty much the whole concept of getting the strut out all right guys so quick update we ran into a problem as usual let me show you guys what's happening all right so we had to remove the sway bar link on this side just because the strut wouldn't fall down and in order to do that you have to take off the sway bar link but however sway bar link is kind of stuck so we're going to use the grinder and grind that shit off install a new sway bar link install new coilovers and then we should be set also for you to take the control arm bolt out you got to remove the windshield washer reservoir i'm gonna save you guys the time and the trouble so yeah that's basically what you need to do all right let's start the grinding see how it goes Out clean, the hole is out clean. 
See the hole right there? That's what we need. So we could go ahead, put the coilovers in, and put the new sway bar link in. Let's get it. All right, guys. So we finally got the two fronts done. How was it? Hey, bro, it was sensational. I learned a lot, man. Shouts out to the guru, but yo, yes, sir. long time coming. Yes, sir. We got it right. Feel me? After waiting for so freaking long, it's been a long day. I'm gonna show you guys what's happening right now and um, show you where the car is sitting. All right, let's get it. Quick break. Know how to hit up Burger King. <laughs> yum, yum, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> update for y'all we got three of the coilovers on and um we ran into a lot of problems trying to do this job because of how old the bolts are and like how the suspension is set up itself we ran into a, a lot of problems but i'm gonna show you guys some of them so that you can avoid them whenever you're doing this so for the rears you got the three bolts up top you take those off there's also a covering you take the covering off and then you get to the bolts right there which would normally be on these studs right here focus there we go normally be on those studs take those off and you take the bolt off from right here and then from my knowledge you use a jack and a wood push this up so you could compress the spring and then you'll be able to take it out you don't necessarily have to drop this full um bar right here you don't have to take the sway bar links off if you're trying to avoid that well this is the video you should be watching it's pretty simple but it does take a lot of time i mean i'm explaining it pretty fast but it does take a lot of time to get done so make sure you dedicate a whole day in order to do your coilovers all right guys so we finally got the last strut out um now we're gonna put the coilovers in and i'm gonna show you guys what the car looks like it was a hassle so make sure if you guys decide to do this make sure you're up for the challenge all right it's moment of truth Right now, one J, yeah, I agree. All right, guys, so the car is actually finished now, got it lowered and sitting right. It's probably a little bit too low, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll work our way through it. Um, got a little bit to do just to make it drive like comfortably right now it's like static as fuck wheels are rubbing all of that so we're gonna resolve that problem you feel me and the car will be great drives nice no issues so it's a win-win situation win-win situation for sure yes sir static as fuck big v8 big static hashtag hashtag v8 hashtag static 
Yes, sir. You heard the man. In that case, guys, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next listen, one. Listen, 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 listen. If you need your shit static, come fuck with my boy. That's it. That's all I got.